Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy and we are going to discuss today about the street line. This is election number 17. I hope you have already watched part 1 to 16 before watching this part 17. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about some problems uh, which is left out from this latest exercise. So let us discuss few interesting problems and the first question today I am going to take on that is question number 21 from miscellaneous exercise. Find the equation of line which is equidistance. Find the equation of line. Equation of line which is equidistant, which is equidistance, distance from parallel lines, from parallel lines, parallel lines, 9x plus 6y minus 7 is equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0. So, <coughs> there is a trick in which we can solve it, solution can be obtained. And you remember this, if there are two lines, say this is two parallel lines is there and third line is equidistant from these two, then it must lie in between now. So definitely if this is a line and there is another line where these are two lines and third line is equidistant from these two say, right. So how, what will happen? In that case, the third line will be lying in between two, right, in between two, this is the third line which is equidistant from these two lines. So that can be here, uh, the distance between these two is like this distance and this distance are same, right. So in that case, the distance between them is same. So Okay, so now <coughs> the distance between them, let me draw this. So, okay. Now the distance between them is equal. So this distance is like this is the distance x, right? Then this distance is also k. k, not x but k. If I write here k. The distance between these two are constant. So in that case, what will happen? If this is the equation of line ax plus by, think about that, ax plus by plus c1 is equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 is equal to 0 because parallel lines so coefficient of x and y will be same, then line equidistance between them has equation ax plus by because it will be also parallel and c1 plus c2 by 2 will be 0. The distance is middle. The constant will be median of these two. That is these two. Sum of c1 plus c2 by 2 is equal to 0. And we, therefore using this concept we can write answer here that equation of line equation of line is therefore equation of line equation of line line equidistant from parallel lines parallel lines that is 9x plus 6y minus 7 is equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y minus 6 so coefficient of x and y should be same now so this is 1 and coefficient of uh, this second age 3x plus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0 that employ 9x plus 6y and 6 3 is what? 6 3 is 18. 6 3 is 18. 18 is equal to 0. This is the second one. And hence age, what will happen? First and second age 9x plus 6y plus 18 minus 7 by 2 is equal to 0. That age 9x plus 6y 18 minus 7 is 11 by 2 is equal to 0 
and therefore it will be 18x plus 6 to the 12y plus 11 is equal to g that will be the answer this will be answer of the question i hope you got it now let us solve question number 22 and question number 22 is a ray of light a ray of light passing through the point passing through the point ray of light passing through the point 1 comma 2 reflects on x axis reflect on x axis at point A at point A and the reflected ray and the reflected ray <coughs> and the reflected ray ray and passes through the point passes through the point passes through the point 5 comma 3 find the coordinate of a find the coordinate of a coordinate of a coordinate of a this is what a ray of light passes through one to reflect x axis so here is a x axis we can draw it like uh, this is a so this is a line ray of light passes through 1 comma 2 so definitely there will be so here is a question and question is that a line incident axis at any point on x axis and x axis y coordinate is 0 so let it uh, reflect at uh, alpha comma 0 this is a point a point a is given not b but it is a point right so this is a point a is given alpha comma 0 is the coordinate and reflected ray this is the reflected ray and which will pass through 5 3 so you know the law of reflection says that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so it means this line makes equal angle to both of them right now it will because it is a normal if it is a normal then this normal makes equal angle with both of them one of them in positive direction and while other is on negative direction right now so this is a normal here one of them will make in this clockwise sense that is theta another of them will make this in anti-clockwise so i can say this angle is make one is theta and theta both but one of them in clockwise sense another is anti-clockwise sense so here uh, we can say uh, this line this is a theta and uh, this line is parallel to y axis and y axis size slope what that is infinity so can you do that it will be difficult to analyze uh, although that not impossible but difficult to analyze here what to do you can find the equation of line this one and equation of line this one these two will intersect at a and uh, because only one variable is there alpha so we can calculate it or you can cal also calculate this line makes an angle uh, x axis makes an angle theta 180 minus theta in anti-clockwise sense whereas this line makes in clockwise sense you can also think like this so one of them is anti-clockwise sense another so slope of line say the name of this is given plane of line a b and lane of this name is a c b right so, so slope of b can be taken here only right now b can be taken here only because this is the point so slope of a b is equal to slope of minus ac here solution can be given like here slope of line ab is equal to minus of slope of slope of ac and therefore slope is how to conclude slope y2 minus y1 that is 2 minus 0 upon 1 minus alpha 
is equal to minus of and uh, this is uh, 3 minus 0 upon 5 minus alpha that can be written as 3 minus y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x2. Now you can calculate it. How is that? Uh, let me write this. This will be 2 times 10 minus 2 alpha and that will be minus 3. So that will be minus 3 and minus minus plus 3 alpha. Right now. So that will be 3 alpha plus 2 alpha is 5 alpha is equal to 13. 5 alpha is equal to 13 and therefore alpha is equal to 13 by 5. So point is therefore point is point is 13 by 5 comma g that will be the answer right this will be the answer so i hope you got it you can do it like that now the next question is question number 23 and let us see what is this question and what to do with this question so question number 23 is there and this question is prove that the product of prove that the product of product of the length of perpendicular the length of perpendicular perpendiculars length of perpendiculars drawn from point drawn from point point drawn from points under root a square minus b square comma 0 and minus under root a square minus b square comma 0 to the line to the line x by a cos theta x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to 1 is b square that you have to prove it now what to do for solving this question solution can be obtained let length of perpendicular form p1 is the let p1 and p2 be the length of perpendicular be the length of perpendiculars length of perpendiculars drawn from drawn from under root a square minus b square comma 0 and minus under root a square minus b square comma 0 uh, respectively respectively then p1 is equal to p1 is equal to what is that in place of x we will write this so x is under root a square minus b square y is 0 minus 1 upon divided by coefficient of x square that is cos theta by a cos theta by a whole square plus sin theta b square that is sin theta by b whole square right now this is a coefficient and here in place of x i can put under root a square minus b square and the other thing is also there uh, you should not forget it cos theta by a is there also right now and minus b. this is the line so this is p1 and uh, i can write this as p1 like p1 is like say whole square and this is under root and now uh, this will be p1 and p2 is similarly what will be p2 p1 is this and p2 is equal to what p2 is also equal to under root a square minus b square cos theta by a minus 1 minus divided by the same thing that is under root cos theta by a whole square plus sin theta by b whole square isn't it that will be there and uh, 
this will be like also sign right now so if i took negative sign common here then that will be positive right now this will be so you think like this this will be right so that will be now p1 p2 is equal to so multiply multiplication of p1 p2 is there therefore p1 p2 product of perpendiculars will be under root a square minus b square cos theta by a minus 1 into the same thing if i take negative sign common and modulus it will be positive so that will be under root a square minus b square cos theta by a plus 1 and whole divided by because this is the same thing so a square root will be taken out a square plus sine theta by b square right so you will get it like uh, a plus b a minus b so what will happen a square minus b square so a square minus b square this root will be removed and cos square theta by a square minus 1 whole divided by this will be cos square theta by a square plus sin square theta by b square isn't it that will be there so what will happen now you can calculate it like a square cos square theta minus b square sine cos square theta a square minus b square cos square theta right minus a square whole divided by b square whole divided by a square a square is there whole divided by a square now the things is here that will come like b square cos square theta b square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta full divided by a square b square so this a square a square cancel and this b square will multiply in numerator so what will happen in that case it will be a square cos square theta minus 1 right now minus b square cos square theta whole divided by multiply by whole multiply by b square divided by b square cos square theta b square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta so either you should convert it cos square 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta so that will be minus sin square theta isn't it that will be minus sin square theta minus a square sine square theta right so it will be minus a square sine square theta minus b square cos square theta if i will take it common then this will be b square cos square theta plus a square sine square theta and whole divided by the same thing is there in denominator also same thing in denominator also and what is that b square cos square theta plus a square sin square <coughs> and that quickly will get this out so what is the result that is minus a square this is the proof so because product of length of perpendicular cannot be negative so it will be always positive so to do this because here negative sign is being taken common so we can write here minus right now so that will be minus a and this will be plus you know so all these things will be multiplied by minus so this thing will be multiplied by minus and again this whole thing will be multiplied by minus this is plus now it is going to be and uh, because if i took here negative sign <coughs> that will be plus b square so that can be proved because length cannot be negative so that is why you have to take care of that i hope you got it this question now next question is there that is question number next question is question number 30 24 and 24 what is this question number 24 a person standing on the junction a person standing at the junction at the junction junction is nothing else but crossing crossing right 
So person is standing at the junction that is crossing of two straight path of two straight path a straight path right two straight paths represented by generated by the equations by the equations 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 and 3x plus 4y minus 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. Once to reach the path, once to reach the path, once to reach the path whose equation is which equation is equation is 6x minus 7y plus 8 is equal to 0 in the least time in the least time right find the equation of the path you should follow it find the equation of path He should follow. He should follow. Alright. So what is this? There are two lines. They are intersecting at one point. So we can do it like this. There are two lines. One line is here. Another line is there. And uh, say this is another line right and the third line he has to follow the these are the junction so this is x this line is described as 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 this line can be described as 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0 right now the point of intersection I can I have to locate a third line is there somewhere we do not know where it is exactly there is a line third line say whatever this I don't know that is 6x minus 7y plus 8 is equal to 0 so we have to follow from here to this line and path of the line path which equation is he wants to reach the path which equation is this this path and he has to go with the shortest so this path he has to go so in which direction he should come so of course perpendicular direction to be there he has to follow a perpendicular direction isn't it from here if he will go to perpendicular distance it's this distance you know that so you have to find in, in fact perpendicular line equation of line perpendicular to it right uh, this one so that you can reach from this junction in quickest possible time so least time uh, to reach at the in least time here this is a perpendicular one and uh, slope of this is 6 by 7 so slope is 6 by 7 this line will have slope minus 7 by 6 so m1 is minus 7 by 6 right uh, and the point of intersection of these two lines can be determined by solving these equations, isn't it? So, solving these equations simultaneously. So, solving now solution can be obtained by solution can be given by solving 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0 and 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 this is a junction j right now to find the coordinate of junction find the coordinate of coordinate of junction junction right so what will be that uh, we can solve it how to solve it we can put the value of x from second and first 
So from second, 2x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. This implying y is equal to 2x plus 4 by 3. This is 1. Now putting it, putting it, the value of y in value of y in 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0. We have 3x plus 4 times of y. y is nothing else but 2x plus 4 by 3 and minus 5 is equal to 0. That will be 9x plus 4 to the 8x plus 4 for the 16 minus 15 is equal to 0. So 9x plus uh, 8x is 17x. Therefore 17x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 1 by 17 and therefore y is equal to y is what x is equal to minus 1 by 17 and y is equal to y is equal to 2x plus 4 by 3 that is minus 2 by 17 plus 4 by 3 that is 17 for just 68 so minus 66 plus 66 66 by 17 into 3 right now 17 into 3 that will be 22 so 22 upon 17 so point of uh, coordinate of junction age therefore coordinate of junction age of junction age what will be that that is minus 1 by 17 and 22 by 17 this is the coordinate of junction now equation of line perpendicular to equation of line perpendicular to third one is 6x minus 7y plus 8 is equal to 0 6x minus 7y plus 8 is equal to 0 7y plus 8 is equal to 0 is 7x plus 6y plus k is equal to 0 we have learned this right since it passes through junction 7x plus 6y plus k since it passes through junction and therefore since it passes through junction passes through j minus 1 by 17 and 22 by 17 hence satisfy the equation hence satisfy the equation isn't it? That is 7x plus, what with that? 7x plus 6y plus k. 7x minus 1 by 17 plus 6y 22 by 17 plus k is equal to 0. And then what will happen? This will be 132 by 7 minus 17 and that will be minus 7 by 17. So, is it plus k is equal to 0 minus k you can say and therefore k is equal to my, one, minus 125 by 17 right now minus 125 by 17 so i hope you got it and now putting the value of k now putting the value of k putting the value of k right we get equation of path will be equation of path will be path will be what 7x plus 6y isn't it 7x plus 6y and k is minus 125 by 17 is equal to 0 that is 119x plus 102y minus 125 is equal to 0. This is the required equation. Which is the required equation of path. Which is the required equation of path. Required equation of path. Path. This should follow. This should follow. I hope you got it right now. So that's all in this chapter. This chapter is being finished right now and uh, 
uh, hopefully uh, you understood all these things uh, make a practice a lot to deal with all these questions because uh, in miscellaneous exercise there are some intelligent questions some difficult questions some conceptual questions are there so if you practice them again and again definitely it will improve your knowledge as well as concept and then you will be able to solve any questions related to state line i hope so so thank you very much those who are uh, I am in course of part of the course of our JE uh, and JE main and enhance. They will have some another classes on uh, state lines that will, they will continue there. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully, a lot of things are there and still left in the state line for JE main and advanced. So, join us in that course. That will be uh, there are two modes of joining this course one through the video classes through app Movisala and uh, our app of Ravinson Academy and another on live classes so you can join any one of them right now so thank you thank you very much god bless keep watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you you can also visit to our facebook page www.facebook.com slash Ravinson Academy a-r-b-i-n-d Ravinson Academy right so okay i hope this is a simple b Okay, um, thank you. God bless.